Welcome to Focusing Pathways. Harriet Teo is a focusing-oriented therapist and an art therapist who lives in the Netherlands. She's also a focusing coordinator with the International Focusing Institute, and she teaches children and focusing programs online and in person. In this conversation with Elaine, Harriet shares how focusing helped her parent not only her children, but herself, and live a more authentic life. She learned from and was inspired by Marta Stappert, one of the authors of Focusing with Children, and Harriet continues Marta's legacy in her work with children and adults. Harriet also speaks about how focusing can help us as we work with our dreams. I hope you enjoy listening. Welcome, Harriet. Um, we are thrilled to have you on our latest episode um, of our Focusing Pathways podcast. Um, and I will begin like I always begin and ask that question. Um, how did focusing find you? Hey, yeah. How did it find me? Uh, thank you, Elaine, for inviting me and having me, of course. Um, um, I remember a, it was at 2000 and it, there was a flyer in the library and on this flyer it said the sentence, it was in Dutch of course, um, um, is your, does your life feels like a prison camp? And I was kind of shocked. What a what a strange way. What a to to yeah uh, strange way to to fail, value your life. Uh, and it also attracted me because uh, I I wanted to read what is it all about and it was uh, focusing and. Uh, so, okay, and then I started to realize that something in me recognizes this uh, prison camp. It was, uh, I felt tired, um, I was in a place in my life, I felt tired, I had to lovely kids, young kids, um, and they brought a lot of uh, difficult places in me up, and I also had a, uh, uh, I was in a job, I had different um, ambition, so all that together, it felt like, oh, I'm living a life uh, which is tough and which is a challenge. So that was it all about. And um, and what I yeah when I when I went uh, well I I uh, subscribed for this uh, for this workshop about focusing with uh, Erna de Bruyne and uh, Christine Langeveld. And, and they introduced me to this uh, yeah, well, yeah, technique, or how do they call it? Um, and then I realized, oh, I know this. I know this. And I need to... I want to know more of it. So it felt very natural. Um, and I remember the first uh, 
day of their workshop, it felt there was also something in me was um, feeling like coming at home, coming at home. So that touched me deeply and I felt welcome. I felt welcomed by them and by the group, but also welcome uh, in myself. So that opened the, up a lot for me. So it was so, yeah, it was very, at the start, a very good experience. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm really hearing the... Um the resonance you know like um when you when you recognize that something in you felt um so connected to that to that wording that was on that flyer um it, it almost like oh I recognize it inside and then when you went in there was that really that feeling of like you you know this <laughs> and that that sense of of coming home yeah. Um, I can really, really, I can sense wh what you you felt in the, in that moment. Um, so there must have been a real kind of like an a knowing that this was really right for you. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 how it was. This is really right. Yeah, and then when I started to practice, focusing first for myself. Uh, I realized that also in relating to my children, my small children, uh, uh, when I was re yeah, listening to myself, listening to my insight, I realized, oh, there's a, there's a little one in me which is touched. Uh, so I heard, for instance, I heard myself uh, saying, I want them to listen to me. <laughs> and I, I realized, oh, wait a minute, this is not the way I want to relate. I have to listen to them. And then I realized, oh, it's, it's, there's a little one in me, which is saying this and recognize this. And that opened up also another layer in this and and um, learning how to relate differently to myself and and through that to my children so that opens up a lot mm. yeah 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 really really making room for that little one to be there as well that little mm. one in you um yeah it's it's so important to i i guess when we learn focusing at the beginning for ourselves um it's very um it, it's like a, a fresh exploration or something you know inside and then i feel sometimes we forget to welcome the little ones in us um mm -hmm. so when you brought that listening to your family and to yourself did you find that it really helped you kind of be more present with your your children and yeah yeah it helped uh very much to be yeah and and also um to feel more like uh oh i have choices here uh, I'm not feeling lived by uh, what is going on, but I have a choice here uh, how to how to react. And also in the challenges, challenging times, we had at a certain time we had also a foster child in our family, and in that. At that time, focusing helped me very much to to relate to it and to yes, he was um, how do I call it? He was very traumatized also and very good um, in pushing buttons <laughs> on, <laughs> on me. <laughs> 
Uh, so, so focusing was, yeah, was a, helped me very much to be with all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I suspect it kind of gave you a lot more freedom and um just to be who you were as a mother and as a person <laughs> um by meeting all of that in you as well, you know, allowing all everything to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I I I met Marta through uh, uh -huh. the focusing uh uh Dutch focusing, yeah, not really an institute, but uh, mm -hmm. and, and but uh, uh, yeah, and I started with her about I, because I wanted to learn about the school projects focusing on schools, and it was one of the the last cur courses she did, and uh, yeah, that opened up a lot more and she uh, I started to do a focusing project um, on the school of my children and supported by Marta and uh, and she uh, she and her husband Inza Stapert uh, they introduced me to Renee Vogelers so and from there and yes, yeah, she was looking for people who wanted to, um, yes, yeah, she wanted to retire and she wanted to people to, she was looking for people who could, yeah, kind of follow in her footsteps. So, and yeah, I was very, I, it felt very, I, I felt very privileged. And uh, from there, yeah, Renee and I and Angels van der Brandt, another colleague. Uh, we started this foundation of Stichting Kinderfocus. And so that was in 2006. Yeah. Wow. So w within six years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Marta is is fairly well known in the children's focusing world. Everybody, I'd say, has read her book, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. And what was it like to had she written the book at that time, or yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what was yeah. it? What was it like to meet her and kind of learn from her? Yeah, it's with Marta was also feeling, yeah, like coming home. Uh, and also uh, her husband Inze, uh, Renee and I went there for for mentoring, and um, we had such a beautiful personal meetings also. And and I remember once uh, I went to a school with Marta to yeah do kind of interview about hey we wanted to bring the school project there and I remember we there was a child from the from the playground in this school and uh, there, uh, and this child was asking us for candy mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really didn't know how to respond and but Marta immediately she said oh there's there's you you really want to have candy wow and does your mouth want this candy or or your belly and immediately i saw this child like oh what is this this woman is responding differently at me and um and she also is very interested in me and so i think yeah it opened up it, it was such uh, natural and and marvelous reaction from her I never forget that so it was uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah and how did the, the child receive oh sorry yes yeah, she, she totally forgot about the candy it was, <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> the, the distraction <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 
that reminds me of a story I have of my niece and she was really young and um, mm -hmm. I had just learned uh, nonviolent communication and like that she wanted um she wanted I can't remember it was it was a piece of I, I think it was fruit it was in the middle of the table and I asked her I didn't really know focusing at that time and I kind of just said oh and um so what what why do you feel like you need that food and she was like oh I need it for my mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like yeah okay fair enough here you go <laughs> yeah so can you tell me a little bit more about the kinder focusing that you've set up with Renee and was the do you say is it yes 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 yeah, so, so we have some other uh, members in our uh, um, stir. I don't know the, um, yeah, in our group. Uh, and and what we, one of the things what we do is every year we organize a symposium where, uh, yeah, where our workshops going on and uh, a lot of, uh, half of them is new to focusing and new to children and focusing. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a, a yeah good way to bring focusing in in the Netherlands. Uh, we think and also uh, all of the the teachers we and and the workshops. And us, of course, uh, everybody do do give their time voluntarily, uh, and it's we just had one um, our fifteenth uh, symposium of children focusing, and again it was very yeah alive. It was very interactive and enthusiastic. So. Yeah, it's a great way of uh, bringing people together around focusing on children and, and make us more f visible. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, and another thing what we did is uh, uh, around work around the book of, uh, yeah, what, what you were talking about from Marta. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she wrote that with uh, Eric Verliefde. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there was a second, uh, sec yeah, a second, yeah, renewed uh, book about, uh, it just came out. Uh, and oh. we helped to, yeah, we helped to, uh, renew a little bit of the because the book is twenty year old old now, mm -hmm. and um, yes, yeah, some terms uh, we changed and yeah, it's, it felt it needed an another coat, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh great, so there's a there's a new edition of of the book out now, edition. so. Yeah. Ah, okay. Excellent. Um, I must have. I must have a look at it. <laughs> yeah. Update. And I, update. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I just spoke before I spoke to you. I spoke to Marta's daughter, and huh? they want to make a new edition of the English version too. So okay. that will, that will come to yeah, yeah. I, I I'll have to wait for that so <laughs> I mean, my my Dutch wouldn't be up to uh, <laughs> up to yeah. that standard <laughs> so yeah. the um the schools project that Marta had do you you have you brought it to a, a school you said you brought it to your children's school how did that yeah. um yeah. your very first time doing it how how did it go down I'm sure yeah. After a while, it got a lot easier for you, and um, but how did you find it introducing it for you for you, the first time for yourself and for them? Yeah, that was um, uh, I I got a chance to to do this in the whole school from wow. six year old to twelve, 
And of course, every every class needed another language. And uh, yeah, I managed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went there uh, once, one morning a week and did all the classes one after another. And um, uh, I remember some children uh, said, well, they it was okay, but they didn't understand at all what, I, what was it inside. And, uh, mm -hmm. but most of the children, uh, recognize oh this is me time and it is something different we do here when Harriet comes and I of course I invited which was also very important that the teacher was there too so they could learn from me how to be in this way uh, okay. in the classroom uh, so that was part of the teaching uh, and yeah it was kind of and even I remember the, the older children um, uh, one time they one of them children I saw her, uh, very sad and um, I, I looked at her um, and, and asked her well it was the first school day I remember and uh, she said oh yeah I had to draw today I said oh didn't like to draw yeah it's different when I draw with you then it is something about uh, it's something about me but now I have to learn to draw in like um I have to do what the teacher is telling me to draw. So she was, felt very disappointed. And I, I, yeah, I remember, oh, yeah, that's that's so different. That's so different. She, you have drawing and drawing. And, uh, and so, yeah, I always remember that reaction. Uh, they are... Yeah, most of the children were very open and and most of them came after the class to me because I they could find me. I was there to collect my children. <laughs> and, and in between also, sometimes I was in between the lunchtime. I uh, mm -hmm. was there as a volunteer. So, uh, and they came to me and started to tell me all kinds of, yeah, different, uh, difficult things for them. And I think, uh, yeah, they knew it was safe with me. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, how, yeah. And of course, also, I learned a lot in doing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds very special, Harriet. And how, did you notice that maybe that it was a certain age group that would come to you, um, to, um, I guess share with you what what they were feeling? Would it have been a younger age group or the older, or was it every a mix? Yeah, the the older had more more verbally. Uh, they they ask more for it uh, or and they could talk about it but uh, it was also yeah they I think they they looked more for me the older the, mm -hmm. the, let's say from eight till twelve yeah. yeah yeah they came with their stories yeah lovely yeah, yeah. And would you have, what size would the classes have been? You know, how many children would you have had? Oh, it was, it was it's, it's a small school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the classes were around 20 to 15, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And. So in terms of, of children's focusing, um, 
there is a lot of drawing, isn't there? Or do, did mm -hmm. you bring that in as well? Um, so when they drew, did you reflect on each of their individual pieces or did they kind of have it safely for themselves and you reflected when yeah you well they needed? the the way the project is um yeah you give turns uh you give turns to three children and always different you ask do you, would you like you invite three children to to share about what came and only if of course er hoeft niks we always mm -hmm. say and yeah. Uh, yeah and they can choose whether they want to share or not um, and then and knowing everybody gets their invitation yeah mm -hmm. yeah and and did you ever find that um a child would not share but would be very kind of you know in in terms of of emotion being very deep so but having the expression that they could freely share something on paper and give it that its own expression did you find could you see like almost like physically a change in the child or you know, did you tend to kind of always give time to each child throughout the course as opposed to, you know, um, always maintaining, you know, the, can you say that again? Er, er, nuf, nuf? er hoof, nix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Er, <laughs> yeah. Nothing has to be uh, happen. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, nothing has to be forced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an, always an invitation. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, there is this response of more relaxed, also the feedback of the, of the teachers. They say, oh, when you have been in the class, our whole class is more calm and, and the whole atmosphere is, is more nice and yeah so they recognize it yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's lovely yeah 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 it is yeah yeah so you are you're also an art therapist or is that yeah. correct yeah yeah so do you did you find were you an art therapist before focusing or after focusing oh no uh i i went to make other choices for my professional life so uh yeah that was my next and it was inspired also by renee by his work that i really wanted to make this mm -hmm. combination yeah yeah and i still love it every day <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's very much yeah um it's very much me yeah it's it's uh my my inner child likes it very much <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so the um the uh, do you know have, have so have you kind of basically you you put focusing and our therapy together yeah so do you know in, in focusing you've got a partnership so you you've got reflections back um yeah. whereas in in focusing you know like art basically together you you draw or you give an expression to what you're feeling inside and that is kind of like your reflection have you found that the it's the same you can get the same kind of not release but you know sub, kind of holding and support from from that process as well and, um, yeah so it's kind of like solo focusing so you're doing yeah, it on your yeah. own oh, yeah 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 of course yeah yeah i i did do that i uh, uh i had uh when i yeah i've been uh, yeah i i had a cancer 10 years ago and then I used to do a, to make a art journal. 
and that was focusing and and expressing and and that gave me very much uh, support for myself in my process so yeah I used it that way yeah and sometimes still of course yeah mm. uh, and and I I'm very lucky to have some wonderful uh, focusing partners so yes. I, I wouldn't I don't want to do that uh, without them mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah uh, it's it's so rich to to can do both yeah 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 mm -hmm. amazing it's so I have a kind of curiosity about you know this focusing process is such a natural uh thing you know that mm -hmm. It's amazing that I wonder, do we know it as a child, as babies? And then as we grow up, we for, we we get trained differently. Um, mm -hmm. So it'd be interesting to, to kind of see how we could as we, when working with children, have you what would be the youngest you have worked with age wise? How young? uh as as work around five i think mm -hmm. and then it's more in the expression more in the the bodily language uh some words but not that much uh uh that yeah that feels also and um, it, it's it's like being in the other way attuned uh and and more in the yeah like the like the gestures uh, mm -hmm. and, and like being together in in the material uh, using the, the material and, and or sounds or uh, so it's much more like reflecting like that and response is all always like uh, I suppose uh, younger children feel uh, acknowledged by that. They feel, yeah, that it's okay to do what you do, <laughs> and uh, and it is fun to do it together sometimes. And sometimes it's, yeah, maybe not fun, but um, yeah, then it's together, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And I, of course, uh, when I'm with, when I have the, uh, the chance to be with a baby, or I think that's always very special. And, um, uh, and it's, it also feels very, um, uh, natural to, to respond to a baby uh in an attuned way and to uh, yeah to 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 create some togetherness and acknowledgement and give words to what's happening give words to the environment and and yeah it makes it more uh alive in this togetherness so I don't know if it's if you can call it uh, if you don't know anything about focusing you wouldn't call it focusing but in a way it is of course because you are together attuned and searching for a kind of uh, yeah acknowledging what you see what you were here and the environment you are in so yeah it's a beautiful way of being with um, very young people yeah yeah, yeah that's lovely <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it feels very nurturing and uh, nourishing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's so lovely yeah. so um so currently you're doing um, a lot of work with um, Renee, uh, you're training, mm -hmm. doing a lot of, of children focusing training um, and you have that lovely seriously playful course. Mm -hmm. um, and so I guess 
you're also part of the uh, Children and Focusing Advisory Group with the Focusing yep. Institute. Mm -hmm. So I suppose moving forward, where would you really love to see the Children and Focusing um, uh, kind of being rolled out into the world almost like mm -hmm. or folded out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, can I dream big? <laughs> yes. Of course. Big, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what what I hope for it will be integrated in other in schools uh, like uh, art therapists uh, school uh, schools for education for art therapists or other therapists that it's more um, focusing has a a larger place there. Mm -hmm uh and and of course uh, at the, that it's that the lessons for for uh primary schools also can be integrated in this attitude uh that would be great um what else whoa that that it's more findable and more yeah more natural to yeah to use it yeah mm -hmm. not only in therapy yeah but and and of course yeah my biggest yeah one of the biggest uh dreams is to bring it more to parents like like i got to know it um uh i really love to share it with parents mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and families mm -mm. yeah there's something really important about sharing it with parents for themselves um yeah. to support themselves so in in turn it, it gets it's like a knock-on effect um down through and same with teachers as well you know so when you, you when you were in the schools, um, did the teachers were they curious about learning it for themselves, or you know even though I know they noticed that the classroom was really calm and nice environment to be in after you have been, um, I guess there's a there's something there that for me around if if not so much teachers knowing it so they can you know but for themselves when they know it it naturally um the the environment of the classroom changes <laughs> yeah. just how they are yeah yeah that that was what i hoped for in this mm -hmm. school and what i remember one of them went more into it uh, and also some parents because they hear they hear it from their children oh harriet is there and she's doing some focusing with us and they came to me um, uh, to hear about it and to learn about it so that was one one thing and mm -hmm. um, yeah for some for for other teachers it was it was good but not for them something like that yeah of yeah. course it's possible mm -hmm. yeah 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 amazing yeah i have uh before we finish up i really want to ask you about your work with focusing in dreams as well <laughs> i have had the pleasure of attending um some of your workshops with dreams and um, and it's it's amazing how did um how did you get in was it just something that you were really drawn to during the focusing process um or did you have a specific dream at one time and <laughs> it um, drew, drew you in <laughs> oh no i i it's it's really when i uh, went to the the first focusing workshop uh, with dreams uh, then I realized oh there's so much more into it and then I started to focus on dreams myself it was not one in particular uh, and but it really grabbed me when I 
here Gentlin with uh, together with uh, Enriser Cornell. It was one of the first online, I remember, uh, classes by uh, about dreams. Um, and then I realized, oh, oh, there's so much more layers into it. And, uh, and, and even now when I teach about dreams myself, or I work with uh, uh, children about dream uh, in, in their dreams or uh, adult clients, then, oh, it's, it's so, um, yeah. It, there's so much presence in this. Uh, I mean, presence like you you have a present, a package. Uh, you yes. are told, and, a gift. And, well, a gift. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like a gift, <laughs> and you you unpack the this, and uh, I learned to trust that there's always a gift, and that's so amazing. That's mm. so amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I really loved uh, working with dreams. <laughs> yeah, I remember asking you at a workshop at one time that, you know, um, do you know when you're sick, you you tend to have like crazy, <laughs> crazy fe fever dreams, and I remember asking if um if the if there was still a lot of like uh, um I guess uh messages and uh, messages is probably the wrong word but mm -hmm. a lot of like um value in them and you said yes <laughs> and I was like wow I need to go and sit with some of my crazy <laughs> dreams <laughs> yeah and did you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it, it's really about the the sense of the dream rather than what's happening in the dream isn't it yeah. you know how your body's holding it and uh yeah, obviously your day get a bit crazy because your body is <laughs> is yeah. isn't isn't well. And mm. last week I wasn't well, and I've had one mm. or two dreams that were a little bit like, "What? <laughs> what was that about?" Um, but when I sat with it, then you know, it really it really showed me what was what was anxious and what was going on in my life. So, um, yeah, yeah it's interesting, so fascinating focusing in dreams. Um process really is <laughs> what comes from it yeah yeah and and in this this work it really helps to have a partner yeah. uh yeah because it's it can um especially in dreams you can go in the same loop as you always go and it helps so much to when you share it to go out of this loop and and look further underneath or at the other way that's that's so much fun yeah yeah and, and there's something really powerful in hearing it back so somebody yes. saying your dream back to you um you it's almost like you can unpack it a lot um easier and you can you really get drawn to the certain aspects of the dream that are important just by hearing it back as opposed to even just yeah. writing it down and sharing it you know it's a uh, yeah it's really interesting even a color might just stand out <laughs> just by hearing yes. it back and yeah it's always yeah. fascinating yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah we agree about that yes <laughs> again <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you, Harriet. It's been an absolute mm -hmm. pleasure speaking to you today. Um, I feel like I've learned so much. <laughs> and uh, thank you for sharing your story. But just want to, uh, just you to check maybe if there's anything else you'd have liked to have shared that you that didn't get around to being being shared yet. Um, and yeah, so just give yourself a, a moment to see if it feels complete for you. Yeah. Yeah. No. It feels yeah. It it feels so privileged to be invited by you and uh, to talk about uh, what I what is important for me. So yeah. Um. Probably there's much more to say, and it's it's total. 
good as it is now. Yeah. 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 That's so, perfect, Harriet. Yeah. Thank you so much and happy dreaming. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank bye you. Bye. bye. bye.